<laughs> Hello and welcome to Butt Free Living here at InterchangeMac.com. I'm your host, Eddie Connor, and I appreciate you joining us today. In this issue of Interchange Mag, we're talking about relationships. And I teach a class all over the country titled Create Your Soulmate. It's a really fun game. Now, a lot of the people who participate in it have a great time, and some people get really irritated. And here's why. I have a segment in the class called Energy Ramping to Create Your Life Partner. Now, what we talk about in Energy Ramping is your love, home, your body, and your job. And then we even talk about self-love. So we cover five areas. Actually, you might want to think about getting some pen and paper and writing this down. We're going to cover money, home, body, your job, and self-love. Now, what is an energy ramp? It's a ramp from number one to number ten. Number one is the lowest on the energy ramp, and number five is neutral. So on the scale from one to ten, you go from one all the way up to number ten. Five is neutral, while six is good, seven is gooder, eight is goodest, isn't that fun? Nine is great, and ten is what I call energetic multiple orgasmic combustion points. We'll talk about that in a later show. Now, what you want to do in the category of finances, your own personal finances and your own personal debt, is you want to write down how you feel on a scale from one to ten about your personal finances. Do you feel neutral? Do you feel good? Do you feel really, really bad? You know, four is more like irritation, not so happy. So gauge your finances on that scale from one to ten. The average person seems to hit between a four and a six. Not too bad, not too good. Now, your home life, where you live by yourself, how do you feel about your home on that scale from one to ten? How do you feel about your body image? That's an important one for a lot of people. So rank how you feel on that scale from 1 to 10 with body. And then roll the next one right over into job or career. How do you feel about it on that scale from 1 to 10? Do you feel great? Do you feel energetic? Write down how you feel. And the last one, number five, is self-love or self-worth. How do you feel when nobody else is in the room except for you and God or the universe? How do you really feel about yourself? Now, now that you've written down your money, home, body, job, and self-worth or self-love, I want you to tally up your score. How many points did you get for that? Draw a line and then figure out what your total is. Now, here's where it gets fun. With the life mate you want to attract to you, how do you want him or her to feel in the category of finances? Do you want them to be debt free? Do you want them to have a real big old 401k? Do you want them to have a 90 foot yacht? What is it you want them to have? You want them to be financial secure? If so, rate how you want your future partner to be on a scale from 1 to 10. Now, I will tell you a secret. A lot of people say, I want him to be a 10, honey. If he ain't a 10, I don't want to have nothing to do with him. I've heard that all across the country. In their home life, how do you want your life partner to feel about their home life on a scale from 1 to 10? And how do you want them to feel about their body? Do you want them to feel secure or insecure about it? Do you want them to feel confident or not confident about it? In their job, do you want them to have a good job? Do you want them to be living their life purpose? Rate on a scale from 1 to 10 how you want them to feel in their job. And lastly, yet most importantly, how do you want your future mate to feel in the category of self-love and self-worth? Do you want them to be a 10 or do you want them to be a 2? Now, very quickly, tally up how you rated your life partner, the one you're wanting to magnetize and attract to you in the category of money, home, body, job, and self-love. Now, look at the difference in the scores. I know what you're probably thinking. You're thinking, good Lord, I've got 10 points on mine and my life partner's got 50 points. Now, look at the ratio. Look at the difference in the score. Now, I'm a firm believer that your feelings create your reality. And this energy ramping process to create and attract your life partner is a great example of that. You want to start feeling good inside of yourself. You want to beef up your money, your home, your body, your job, and your self-worth. Do everything and anything you can to do that for yourself because your feelings reflect back to you people, circumstances, and situations. That means your future life partner. The quickest way to do this is to start appreciating yourself and everything you possibly can around you. 
For more but free living, please come back to interchangemag.com. I've been your host, Eddie Connor, Hollywood's butt doctor, and I appreciate you for joining us today. We've been filming at WorthingtonStudios.com, and we would like to thank Natalie for this gorgeous space that she's provided for us here at Interchange Mag. Thanks, and come back and see us for our next episode. And until then, focus on butt-free living.